Okay, it's tree. It's July 23rd. We're at the Hells Angels Clubhouse in Reno, Nevada. This is Troy Regas's clubhouse. And I not ring the doorbell and nobody would answer, so I put some of my ritual robe on the gate. There. Um I'm trying to get them to talk to me, but they hide from me. Here comes a motorcycle, maybe that's them. Anyway, um, I don't know why they hide from me. They just, they're afraid of me, I guess. I didn't want this to be a total loss, this trip. I wanted it to be, you know, I mean, Bohemian Grove, I had to leave because I'm a public nuisance. So I figured I would come here. I'm thinking about, I don't know. Anyways, you guys, this is only the beginning. I'm just getting started. You're not going to get rid of me because I had a vision over 15 years ago that told me to focus on the leader of the Hells Angels and the leader of the Illuminati, and that is Troy Regas and Queen Elizabeth. That's why I focus on Troy so much, is he is the owner of the Hells Angels Corporation. Plus, he runs the One Percenters, and plus, he's got the authority, and he's given the assignments and the orders to all of the confederations of clubs. Okay, he's got like pretty much almost the whole world underneath his belt doing what he says. And Queen Elizabeth has got the Freemasons and the, you know, everybody in the Illuminati, all the different secret societies. But the trick is here is that Troy Regis and the Hells Angels, when they got their other death head, joined under the Queen Elizabeth under her secret society. So now they're in there taking assignments from her, doing what she tells them to do, but she's giving them their assignments through the skulls and bones, skulls and crossbones. The Yale, you know, those guys. Anyhow, um, I don't know what to say except this trip sucks because it's been all these hours today. I mean, it's, I've been driving nonstop pretty much and just to have everybody hide from me and anyway, um, I'm trying to help these guys. The world needs their help. If the Hells Angels would just drop out of the Illuminati and decide to protect and take care of the world, they would and they could. And if David Ike, if you can hear me, I'm telling you the truth, I swear. And please come talk to me because I really, really am telling the truth and there's so much potential here. I was contacted by somebody that said they were your reporters. I hope it was a true email, that it really was one of your reporters. And so investigate my story. I'll take you anywhere and show you anything and I can too. I love you all so much.